Okay guys, we are here at Misty Mountain Games in Madison. We're gonna play a game of Traitor Legions basically today. We've got Death Guard versus Iron Warriors, my friend Brad here, hello Brad. And uh, it should be interesting. So I wanna go over my Death Guard with you guys real quick. Basically what we have is a Death Guard Vectorium with three units of Plague Marines. We've got double plasma and a power fist in each group. <laughs> Mounted in Rhinos. Dozer Blades have Aqua Launchers. And then a Chaos Lord. So I gave this Chaos Lord, he's got power armor and he's got the, um, I forget what it's called. It's basically a AP3 demon weapon in the Codex. Yeah. Uh, plague bringer or something like that. So that's what he's got, and that's that's the Victorium, just the three units there. So that's going to reduce the weapon skill and initiative of everybody within seven inches that's in close combat by one. Then we have the um, what's that? Uh, the Traitor's Hate Supplement Formation. Crap. I gotta look now. I'm gonna forget. Chaos Warband. That's it. Chaos Warband. And that makes up this section of the board here. We have a led by a Chaos Lord on a bike. He's got a Power Sword. We have a group of Terminators. One Chain Fist, two Power Axes. You have to bring two groups of Chaos Space Marines. I just brought six. They're in no vehicle. I did not have the points. One Flamer in each group. I've got a group of Havocs here with four auto cannons, and then Chaos Bikes with double plasma. And then the third and final formation is the Cult of Destruction here, which is the ones with the, uh, the Obliterators and the Warp Smith. So it's three, you need three units of Oblitz. I've got one group of two, and then two singles, and then the Warp Smith, and then his deal is he can make one unit fire twice in a turn, which should be handy so because I chose the death guard basically the chapter tactics and formation bonuses everything has feel no pain which is really obnoxious <laughs> and then they can also reroll ones on that feel no pain so that should be interesting and over here the iron warriors let's take a look here so we have 11 cultists I had extra points yeah exactly fill out the points three term with power axes, they're not wizzy wig, but the power axes and combi plasma. Okay. With a chaos lord, with a haywire discharge. He also has a lightning claw, power fist, uh, and he has terminator armor. Okay. He has a securin, and then just four units. Very nice. Of two of blitz. Which is awesome. They're troops in this in this. Uh, and they have tank chapter cover. tactics. Oh god. Okay. And I got three um, vindicators in a formation, so they can fire the giant pie plate. Oh jeez. That's. And I haven't put, pulled them out yet, but I have two hell blades and uh, two hell drakes. Guys, I don't have much anti-air <laughs> at all, so it's going to be can the death guard live through can we do enough damage all the damage yeah and can you do enough damage we'll have to find out it should be interesting guys we're going to set up and we'll come back to you after that okay guys so we just deployed we have death guard on this side they deployed second so we'll show you the first deployment over here the iron warriors deployed oh we moved up we got a little ahead of ourselves so that we have the vindy line here and this is the formation so we've got an apocalyptic or or whatever nasty pie plate coming out from them covering this side of the board with this nice big building in the middle sakaren's got a good lane over here cultus in the back and we have a lot in reserve all the term or all the oblitz some terminators and all the flyers on the board so i counter deployed over here we've got the bikes on the left flank plague marines split across in their rhinos and we've got the two units of chaos space marines on my backfield objectives one here and one here hopefully i can live through all of that <laughs> for a little while at least we've got the uh the havocs in the middle here i wasn't sure where to put them but i'm going to try to move them up and get them up in this perch on the building the rest is going to deep strike in we've got objectives it's maelstrom and we'll have to just see how it goes all right brad good luck yeah, good luck jake right. let's do it 
Okay, so we're doing the uh, draw three cards, discard one. I forget the name of that Maelstrom mission. We drew for the Iron Warriors, Objective One, Domination, and Ascendancy. So those are pretty tough to do on turn one. In the movement phase, he pretty much adjusted forward, moved the Sakarin over there around, and he elected to take two single large blast shots instead of the big apocalyptic blast. and was able to blow up one Rhino, but did not kill anybody inside. And then over here, we did have the Sakaran rain some shots down with one Sponson Laz Cannon and then the rapid tracking from the uh, accelerator on top was able to remove one of the bikes in my squad. So that was pretty much it. Not a whole lot to go on here in turn one. We both have a lot in reserves. We'll see what happens in the Death Guard response turn. Okay, Death Guard, turn one, we drew objective five, assassinate and hold the line. So, in my movement phase, I had to leave three units back to hold the line, so we did this one here, this one over here, and then I left the Rhino a bit further back to make sure I got that victory point, which uh, actually was the only one I was able to score this turn. So, for the rest of my turn, it was pretty straightforward. I pretty much just wanted to hide, honestly, from this. I, I couldn't really move around this side of the board, and I couldn't really go up on this ledge for his turn because then he would have had sight to rain that nasty death down on my unit. So what I did was I just hugged the edge here and then next turn hopefully I'll go up on there and maybe make some plays happen. On this side of the board we did a bunch of flat out and turbo boosting to get as close as we could and try to stay a little bit hidden from some of the return fire next turn. So I scored one point. And uh, Brad, you had no points scored last turn. So it's Death Guard one, Iron Warrior zero, moving into turn two. Iron Warriors turn two. Out of the Adepticon deck, we've got Ascendancy, Domination, and behind enemy lines. And guys, we're gonna pan back to this battlefield. Look at the Hell Drakes flying in. So reserve rolls. We ended up getting both Helldrakes, two units of Obliterators, and then one Hellblade, right? And then everything else failed their roll. So we got the Helldrakes that came in here and melted. I think you killed three out of the Plague Marines and then two out of the uh, Havoc group. So I was, I actually made like a lot of really good rolls there. I was kind of lucky. A Blitz, deep striking back right here. Able to take some shots into the back of the Rhino and wreck it along with some shots from the Hellblade who is not quite able to finish uh, originally. So then the the uh, Blitz were able to finish it off. The second group of Blitz, deep striking here, twin linked plasma guns into my bikes, unable to wound due to that cover save and that feel no pain guy is just nasty. Able to keep them alive. The Sakaran backing up, taking shots into the Rhino that was sneaking through this alleyway here, brought it down to one hall point but was not able to glance it out. So uh, Death Guard weathered the storm for now. We'll see how it goes. I've got some reserve rolls for Lake. I'm going to do that on camera right now. So we've got the unit of Oblitz. That's that's two Oblitz with my Warpsmith. Comes in and two single groups of Obliterators. One of them will arrive. And then we have my Terminators will arrive on a three, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Oh, the warp smith can't deep strike. I'm cheating. Hmm. I'm going to have to put him somewhere. We'll, we'll get back to you guys on that as we start turn two. Death Guard. Quick update, guys. Brad was kind enough to let me put this warp smith in this rhino uh, because he turns out he cannot arrive via deep strike. So that's where he is uh, going to end up. In the turn two for Death Guard, we drew up objective five again, so we have that twice, and then secure objective four. So objective four and five are both uh, way back in my enemy's deployment zone. Did you I was, shoot him? Oh, I did not shoot him. We'll take care of that in a second. Thank you. So with the deep strikes, I did get the Oblitz to land here, and then the one that you just saw in the building, these were able to take some multi multi shots and got a lucky pen into the side armor of the Sakaran, blowing it up. We moved the bikes up. The Warlord ended up taking a wound to a difficult terrain or a dangerous terrain test, but then I got it back with it will not die from my Warlord trait, which was interesting. We took a bunch of shots on the rest of the board into a Blitz, doing one wound to the Obliterator group here, 
and then we did one wound before charging in to this unit and then he saved all the wounds I did with six up feel no pain so that was pretty nice over here we're locked in combat these terminators mishapped and my opponent <laughs> placed them back here yeah well they're still not getting anywhere so that's fine over on that edge of the table and really we're just digging in trying to live and try to score some points on the board so I scored none my opponent Brad scored four points in your last turn so it is and first blood crap so it's five to one right now in the favor of iron warriors let's move into uh turn three at the top of the third we had pretty much uh no good cards i'm not even going to show them that were drawn for the iron warriors he was not able to attain any of them we did get some deep strikes coming in a blitz landing here over on this side he's terminators with his warlord landing almost scattering off the board but was able to hang on and then sweet revenge i was able to place a mishap unit of his a blitz and i put him way over in this corner all lonely by themselves in his turn he was able to do a lot of damage on this side of the table using the apocalyptic blast into my unit of bikes killing two leaving my warlord with one wound after the blitz were able to assist and it's a good thing i have it will not die because otherwise the warlord would be dead right now over here a failed charge with a measly roll of a two unfortunate but uh the oblit doesn't want to charge into those plague marines it looks like we had some bale flame landing burning up all those marines that were there i think there was like four left and doing no wounds unfortunately to the havocs a couple deaths over there and some pot shots into these terminators were unsuccessful in this combat this nasty pile we were able to get one power fist wound into the oblit to instant death and remove him but we are slowly losing our mass here guys we'll have to see how that turns out because next turn i have a feeling these guys are looking to come in and help out so the score is still you said five right yeah. five points for the iron warriors one yeah, point four points on one turn plus first blood yeah first blood right so it's it's five points for the iron warriors one point for the death guard as we move into the uh to bottom of turn three the bottom of the third turn, I kept all the same cards, so I needed to get objective five twice and then objective four. I was able to get five for two points, bringing my total to three against uh, the, we figured out it was four points, right? Four points for you? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I was able to do a lot of damage on this side of the board, so we had a lot of really lucky explodes results. I shot the obliterator on this building into the rear armor with Melta, and then we had some multi Melta coming into the front, and I was able to remove two of those Vindicators on this side of the board. And the rest of the board, really not much else happened other than this combat finally broke. My Power Fist was able to come in and remove the remaining Oblitz, and then I was able to consolidate away, trying to run from this scary ass Terminator unit, because that's also a Chaos Lord in there. Uh, that's pretty much it. As we take a look across the board, we've got uh, two to, well, two plus turns left, and it's neck and neck right now. So let's see what happens as we move into the fourth. In the top of the fourth turn, a very successful turn for the Iron Warriors. As we start on this side of the board, we had a failed charge from this unit they needed nine and were unable to get to this chaos lord's unit but with some combi plasma they were able to take out the the remaining marine here that had a power fist that was handy this hell drake in hover mode trying to take out this very uh resilient unit of havocs here killing two one remaining and this is the saddest story of the entire match we have an obliterator here so he deep struck here turn two tried to make it was like a four inch charge on turn three and failed it and he needed um a two inch a three inch charge here because he's going through difficult terrain and rolled snake eyes so this is it's just it's one of those things that just it's 40k right that sucks um and then over here we had the warlord taken out by combined fire from the remaining vindicator extracting some vengeance for its fallen squadron mates the hellblade coming in taking shots in and then the blitz also taking some meltas over into the warlord and it, it was like you barely got him it took all three of those things to take him out uh, but you did get a ton of points for that so you're up to uh seven 
to three for the Death Guard. As we move into the bottom of the fourth, let's see what we can pull off. In the turn, the bottom of turn four, Death Guard's turn, I needed to get objective four and objective two. So objective two was here. I was able to sneak one of my, my remaining Havoc up there with objective secured from the cast warband and took that. Objective four was here and I was able to secure that with my Blitz who charged in and were able to wreck the uh, Vindy there only by one, one wound. Like I only did one with all those attacks. It was scary. I took, um, let's see, shots here from that oblit, this remaining oblit who deep struck in, and then I took the auto cannon shots into this Haldrake who's on the hover mode, but I missed everything, so he's still alive. And over here, I got really lucky with some bolter shots and removed two of the terminators in this unit, so it's a little less scary now, and hopefully I will be able to live through on this kind of corner. And I um, put that poor clumsy uh, obliterator out of his misery. I was able to charge and make that distance in, and uh, I got him before his initiative step. Scoring two points, it is now 5-7 to seven in favor of the Iron Warriors. So this could potentially be the last turn, because it's 5-7, to seven, right? So we'll have to see. It's going to be close, guys. Let's move in and see what happens in the fifth turn. Where are they? The end of turn five, the top of turn five, rather. Very close game, guys. So over here, basically what happened is he drew the card where you need to have at least two objectives and twice as many as your opponent, I think is how it's worded. Yeah. So what he was trying to do was get six here, five here, and then he wanted to get four. He needed a three-inch run and rolled a two. So the dice are just killing him today because these are obsec, and this is not. So he would have been able to take four. He killed my last lone Havoc up here on objective marker two. And then the only other objectives were the one here that uh, I was holding without anything else really around, and objective one here. So I was somehow able to live through a Bale Flamer, uh, the Hellblade fire over here, shots raining down, and then a combat from the Chaos Lord in Terminator armor and this uh, other Terminator here. Somehow I'm alive. It's that Feel No Pain, guys. It's just really... Feel No Pain rerolling ones is just ridiculously strong on anything with the Mark of Nurgle because you need strength 10 to instant death him to get by that formal pain. It's just really hard to get that. So um, he did manage to score a point. So you are at um, eight to my th five points. So I need to get at least three points to tie. This could be the last turn. Let's find out as we move into the bottom of five. Okay, guys, so we just finished the bottom of five. Death Guard trying to rally back and get as many points as I could to tie the game as it stood. I was able to score two points, bringing my total to seven. As we look across the board, you can kind of see that it ended. The end of the game kind of went as we thought it would. There were a lot of flyers still remaining on the board, just peppering the, the living hell out of all of my Death Guard units. I was just trying to stay alive. And uh, we rolled already. The game did end this turn. So the final score we tallied up, it was 11 for the Iron Warriors, 8 for the Death Guard. A very good game. And uh, I don't know, man. I think if it would have went more turns, I think you still would have had it. Yeah, it was going to be close. Yeah, like, because if we look here, I mean, this is your Chaos Lord, your Warlord in combat. They were screwed. I could have maybe brought over this unit. Yeah, so, and, and I mean, over here, you had this side of the board for sure. I mean, you've got two Blitz here, two Blitz way back there that I, I placed, but they're still in kind of a nice spot to uh, confront my Blitz. And these flyers, I just can't, I can't deal with them, so you would have... be close. I think it depends on the cards. Yeah, the cards could have changed it, but yeah, that was, that was a good game, man. Let's do a handshake on the camera. Well played, man. And that was a lot of fun. Any thoughts? Anything you want to close out with? Um, I might change it. I, I was worried about not having enough troops, like, for my army. Not enough troops? Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. But because you have the Oblitz as troops, they're good, but they're so expensive. Yeah, they're each 140. I, I like the three Vindicators. And they kind of scared you away, but... Oh, yeah, those Vindicators were definitely scary, that's for sure. Well, and it took me all game to kill them. I only got them turn four. 
and I did. I was able to take him out, but I had to make my way all the way across. So, well played, man. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. And uh, hey, 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 hey! Guess who it is? It's War Gamer Sean. Loser in the flesh. Hang on, I got to do. See you later, guys. Look at this guy. Stealing, he's stealing the terrain. Somebody report this guy. <laughs> See you guys. Magnus does not rule. I'm closing the camera. <laughs> Goodbye.